My name's James Batson. I am the Consumer Engagement Manager for GB&I and I've been at Britvic for 14 years. I am a member of the Be Proud Network. The networks are so important to the workplace because it enables us to understand that we've got so many different communities working here. Unconscious bias is something that is very real, so these communities and these networks allow us to, to kind of find out more about each other. So being part of the Be Proud Network has had nothing but a positive experience on my, my time at Britvic. The network is, is relatively new. Me being gay isn't new, <laughs> so it's definitely uh, made me feel heard, appreciated, accepted. It's always something that I am super, super proud of and being part of the LGBTQIA plus community is something that I could not be happier about. Hello, my name's Paul Graham. I'm the GB Manager Director. I've been the exec sponsor for the Be Proud uh, Network in the GB business. I chose to be the sponsor of the network because I just wanted to support the diversity and inclusion agenda and I thought I could represent those views in the leadership team and make sure that the things that were important were being aired. I was able to be part of a call not long ago where the subject was family um, and so being able to hear from other people who are gay um, or have gay children um, or have gay parents was, was really really interesting and it was really nice to hear everybody be so proud about that. Um, and just really talk so openly. I've got a, quite a diverse family, um, so uh, interracial uh, parents, uh, white mom, black dad from the Caribbean. Uh, I'm gay, my sister's also gay. Um, she's married and she's adopted a little girl with her wife. What was a really nice experience was being able to tell um, the business about my kind of my coming out story. It was just a real show of how amazing my parents are. I was very, clearly very scared to come out. Uh, I came out to my mum by text message. My mum told my dad because I really didn't want to, uh, and I was very scared too. But the way that he just embraced me uh, as his as his eldest son, um, and it just wasn't an issue to him. Uh, and I'd kind of you know created this whole narrative of how it was going to go down, very Jerry Springer style, you know, mom and dad were going to walk out and all that sort of stuff. And it just wasn't like that. And it's okay to be my 100% self at work um, and not, you know, try to kind of fit into a box. My name is Tom Fines. I am the GB Commercial Sustainability Director and I am the chairperson and founder of the Be Proud Network, which represents our LGBTQ plus community. First and foremost, it's dramatically changed my level of confidence in the business. I came out very late in life actually, um, and I came out to my wife and children at the time, which was incredibly difficult. But what was really interesting about that is I didn't come out at work till a year later, and that's because I didn't really feel like I had the, uh, the right environment or the culture or the safety to be able to do it. And largely that was internalised because at the time I didn't realise how supportive everyone was going to be. What it meant was is that I was meeting with individuals in meeting rooms and specifically having meetings to come out to those individuals and I was trying to control it because I was so worried about the impact it was going to have on me and my career and my friendships within the business. It turned out that I didn't need to be worried about that at all. Uh, everyone was absolutely amazing. The difference is since then setting up the network and uh, ensuring that we're here for everyone and being really visible and really loud and proud about what we do and that uh, different people are very welcome in the business. It turns out I didn't need to be worried about that at all. In fact, uh, if anything, just having that visibility, it shows everyone that you can be yourself and therefore you, can, you don't have to come out individually uh, to people uh, in this business. You can just talk about your weekend in the same way that everyone else does and no one will bat an eyelid because everyone will respect it and everyone will respect that you're being yourself and authentic. The one that kind of brings back to me was, was putting the, the pride flag out in the front of the building. The Be Proud Network came to me and said, you know, can we, can't we, should we, shouldn't we? And I said, well, just do it. Just put it up and what's the worst thing that's going to happen? We put the flag out the front of the building, which you know, as you're coming off the M1 and it's a busy road and lots of people going past, but it was really, you know, quite symbolic and I think meant a lot of people in the Be Proud Network, particularly people who had been in the in Britvic for a number of years and maybe felt that they would never get that kind of recognition or be able to share that. So I think that was probably a really important symbolic moment. At the end of the day, we spend so much time at work <laughs> in our adult lives, probably more so than we'd like to. Um, and so being happy here, um, no matter what your background is, is a really, really important feeling to have.